Chicken here to bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about how these new prototypes are going to be affecting the Mega Crab this time. So this is a new kind of thing that we have in uh, in this Mega Crab. Typically, we never know what the uh, what the special kind of twist on the Mega Crab is going to be until we're actually kind of uh, fist deep in, uh, in in that crab goodness, guys. But this time, we actually uh, saw in the sneak peeks that we're going to have uh our five new prototypes one of them we already know a lot about right below us the simo and today we're talking about how this is going to affect the mega crab so the one good thing the one really good thing that uh i think that uh comes to my mind at first is it's gonna be more balanced because these prototype defenses are actually going into the into into the game they're actually going to be a part of our base defense Whereas uh, on past Mega Crabs, things like uh, the Pumpkin Mortar, um, other annoying crab defenses, like, those defenses were not balanced whatsoever. They were just, like, especially if you just got, like, a really bad layout where you had some, um, just, like, unlucky positions with the Pumpkin Mortar, you were kind of screwed for that base. But seeing as how these prototypes are actually supposed to work in the game, then I feel like it's it has to be uh, a little bit more balanced. Now, that's not to say that it's not going to be any easier... It could very well, um, it, like we could very well get like five, six, seven uh, of the of, of different uh, prototypes all in the base. Like uh, what I'm saying is, since there's more prototypes in the game, we might have like a higher percentage chance, depending on how they actually like um, do the Mega Crab stages in with like the game code and stuff. Um, we could see more prototypes overall, just because there are more in the game. I think that would be kind of unfair, but at the same time. It would be the same thing for everybody, so it would just mean kind of a lower, um, a lowering of everybody's success. But I don't think, um, I don't think it's it's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. It's going to be a good crash course on how to use all the prototypes, how to get good at uh, at their weaknesses and balances. And I feel like since we have, um, you always have about from stage one to twenty in the Mega Crab, it's usually fairly easy, right? So we're going to have a really good chance to uh, just kind of break down these prototypes and see exactly what they can do, what troops they work well against, um, what are some easy ways to counter them, if there's any bugs, which could very, very likely be a thing that this close to uh, this close to an update. I don't know if we've ever had a Mega Crab that um, is supposed to, supposed to come out uh, right after the update does. So this is all, of course, um, going off on the chance that crab does actually come around on this rumor it's not confirmed or anything yet actually i think it was officially confirmed on the boom beach uh instagram page that it was in fact mega crab the anniversary mega crab was coming march 30th which is what everyone basically knew anyways but um this is the first time we've ever had uh, a big new mega crab come out basically the same time as an update because the update i believe is also supposed to be scheduled for this week um, well, obviously it would have to be because to get these new prototypes, we're going to have to get the update. So it's very likely that a lot of this stuff could come out and it could be, um, it could be bugged or glitched or, or something like that. But, um, like I'm sure anything major they would go ahead and fix, but maybe some other stuff we might be stuck with. So you never really know with Boom Beach guys. It's always a bag of, uh, it's always a bag of tricks when we get, um, when we get these updates and stuff. It's always good stuff, but sometimes it comes out and it just does not work as uh, as scheduled so definitely keep that in mind be on the lookout for strange and weird things and uh we'll kind of figure that out together so like i said before the chicken is gonna have the crab um at an earlier time zone due to my game being on the new zealand time zone so if you want to um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a huge live stream when the crab first lands and it's gonna be at like i don't know one two o'clock in the morning eastern time it's usually somewhere around there um and we're just going to kind of go over and break down. Um, I'm not going to be going too crazy right out of the gates. Actually, that's 100% a lie. We're going as fast and as far as we can. Um, but I'm going to be trying to break down and, and take a, a good look at, uh, at how the prototypes are going to work. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell, guys, if you are uh, if you if you want to get uh, kind of like a quick early access breakdown on how the crab is going to work. But other than that, it's just going to be the, uh, the usual stuff. So um, the prototypes that we have not seen. But we know their names. We know the microwave. We know this uh, Doom Cannon style of uh, hot pod, which I think is going to be. I, I'm the most worried about out of all the prototypes that we've seen 
that we've uh, that we've looked at so far. Uh, I'm most worried about that one. The Flotsam thing, I, it depends on how strong that bomb is. I think it was only like 2600 damage or something, but I mean, they should be pretty easy to avoid overall. Uh, the Simo, I'm not worried about whatsoever. I don't think that's going to be a big factor, especially if you're using bullet and uh, armored units for the most part. I don't think that that's going to uh, really come into play very much. Um, but yeah, other than that, what did, what else did we have? We had um, we had the Flotsam, we had the, the Doom Cannon Hot Pot, we had the Simo, um, we have the, the Microwave thing. Now, that is going to be interesting. I wonder what the... Um, like if it shoots out a beam or if it's got some sort of uh, race where it just melts everything. I think that one has the most potential to be deadly because, I mean, if you get it in just the wrong spot, it could potentially just melt all your Zookas depending exactly on how it works, which we don't really know yet. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Um, and also, another key factor is Bullet's Taunt is going to be completely reduced i might actually be switching to to ever spark for my scorcher and tank hits i'm still going to stick with scorchers and tank tanks for the first bit um but if we remember the last mega crowd uh this was when bullet first came out and the meta uh for for that uh, for mega crab 7 was 100 percent using bullet and scorchers and tanks everybody who was getting massive massive solos was using bullet um and and uh, some sort of scorcher tank combination um, but I don't know if that's going to be the thing this time. I don't know if, I don't know if, it, I, I feel like his taunt is going to be so badly destroyed that, um, it might be, uh, it might be, you might be better off taking Everspark with your extra critters. That's kind of what the chicken's thinking anyways. Of course, it remains to be seen, but, uh, let's go ahead and take down this, uh, sniper tower. We'll get you out of the way. It's kind of like a Simo, except it does not shoot through smokes. Um, okay, so we gotta get some shocks going on these cannons here. They're going to wreck our poor little tanks. Uh, hopefully it can keep just switching targets. That's gonna give us 23. Uh, okay, we'll go like this, and hopefully take down that one cannon with barrage, and then we should be able to get... Okay, alright, so we're gonna be good to go here. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you're most excited, most worried about, most looking forward to seeing in terms of the new prototypes. We didn't talk about the Sky Shield either. Um... That one could be huge, man. Like, especially depending on... Because the scary thing about Mega Crab is all of these stages are procedurally generated. Um, I think I said that correctly, but... Which just means it's randomized. There's no, like, uh, there's no, like, Supercell Engineer making Mega Crab stages 1 through 100. It's all just luck of the draw. So, um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be cool to see, uh, what this, what all these new things can do. And especially how they're gonna work together. Um... But, we'll figure that all, all out when we get to it, guys. Um, uh, more so than anything, Chicken's goal for the Mega Crab is more or less... Um, I just want to get... I'm, I'm interested to see what these um, what these statues are... What level they're actually going to come out on. Uh, because we haven't seen an actual breakdown of, of when we can get these medals. Because when we had the... Um, when we did our sneak peeks, it was the the time that they came out was wrong. So, um, yeah, I hope they're hard to get. And um, that's kind of the chicken's goal for Crab. Get all the statues. Get as far as we friggin' can. It's going to be a lot of videos, a lot of streams, a lot of Mega Crab stuff, guys. So I hope you're excited. The chicken cannot wait. Um, okay, we'll go like this. We'll get the bullet going up here. Using problem. This might be the last taunt ever, depending on when this update comes out, guys. Um, the last use of bullets, so get him in, get his taunts in while you can, um, and we'll see exactly how, how bullet is going to work going forward. I'm hoping that, um, I'm hoping that the update comes out and then people, like, it, it just, it's clear that bullet's taunt it has been nerfed way, way, way too much, and, uh, maybe they go back and do a little bit of rebalancing on him, but, but, um, but yeah, I think that is basically going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. So make sure to let me know down below in the comments what you are most looking forward to in terms of, um, in terms of new prototypes uh, being used in the Mega Crab. Don't forget that we also have the, uh, we also have the true bonuses. So even if we do get a, like, it, it should be very balanced. It should be very, very balanced, guys. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to let me know all that down below in the comments. And, uh, and yeah, that is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. I'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Bye, bye, bye.